Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to YouTube, members of the Ichi community from Twitch. This is Ichi Badass coming to you live with the power of the interwebs, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own custom free Five Nights at Freddy's mouse cursors. 100% free. The only thing it's going to cost you is a moment of your time and hopefully a little bit of patience. Now, right here, the website I'm going to be using is called cursor.cc. Additionally, I'll be posting a link to my personal homepage thing on this website. You can just download my mouse cursors if you so wish. Now, right below here, you can see a few examples of some mouse cursors that I've uploaded on this website and tweaked and customized. You see my name right there, Ichi Badass. Hello, guys. How you doing? Right now, I'm using a cupcake that I also have made with this website. Now, if you want to create your own personal Five Nights at Freddy's mouse cursors, the first thing you're going to want to do is find an image of a Five Nights at Freddy's piece of fan art or official image that you want to use on this website, cursor.cc, to make your mouse icon. We've got a lot of great examples right here. I typed in Five Nights at Freddy's space PNG for a PNG image. PNG images are typically great because it's focused on just the character that you want to look at. For example, the Chica doll or plushie from Five Nights at Freddy's 2 would be a great image to use for a mouse cursor. Same thing with this one right here that is of Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's 1 that says, let's eat. But none of these images I'm going to be using for this example I'm going to go over to here where I typed in Five Nights at Freddy's. What did I type in? Five Nights at Freddy's icon in Google search for my images. And right over here on the right, we got an awesome looking Foxy image that I'm going to be using as an example to create your own Five Nights at Freddy's mouse icon. Now, once you select the image that you want, you're going to right click it and you're going to see Save Image As. Click on that option and it'll have the default name of the image, but then you can also customize it. So I'm going to change it to a cup of cursor. That's going to be the name of the image that I'm going to be working with. I'm going to save this to my desktop, close out of this, and go back to cursor.cc. Now, whether or not you have your own account on cursor.cc, it doesn't matter. You can just simply click on the left-hand side of the website that says Import Image to start creating your own custom mouse cursor. It shows the listed image file types that are supported. Additionally, the max file size that the image can be. So we're going to go find our Foxy, which is on the desktop, and we type in cup of cursor. It's a PNG file format. We're going to open it up, and it's already selected. Then we're going to hit upload to upload the image to cursor.cc to then customize it. Now, you can probably tell right away that this Foxy right here is not nearly the same resolution or detail as the original. That's okay, considering it's the size of a coffee bean, the details doesn't have to be that extraordinary for it to actually look really, really good. Now, you're going to want to move the image, or you don't have to move the image, but you can move the image basically wherever you want, and you'll change in the preview zone down here as soon as you decide to place your mouse cursor. A couple options you have here is transparent, picking an existing color. You can move it like what I had selected. Hotspot. Hotspot is where the mouse clicks, which is typically the little pointy end in the upper left-hand corner of your mouse cursor to where you click on things like smaller drawing area, download, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this Foxy down here to the lower right-hand corner because I like having my little arrow pointer thingies in the left-hand area. And you can place it wherever you want, whatever looks best to you. That's really what is important is as long as you're happy with your mouse cursor, it doesn't matter how it looks. So for me, I want to use a little mouse pointing thing that's going to be highlighted, but also go with the colors of the mouse cursor that I'm using. So red and black off to the side of our Foxy looks about right, but not just simply placing a little arrow pointy thing right here for your mouse cursor. That's not, not the only thing that you're going to need to do. This little cross right here in the upper left hand corner represents the hotspot where the mouse clicks. You're going to select this option and change where you want that mouse click hotspot to be. Now, you don't have to create a little custom little arrow if you so choose. It could be Foxy's ear or his nose where you click on things on your screen that gets highlighted with the hotspot. But for this example, I created a little pointy arrow that is similar coloration of Foxy, but is of a different contrast. So I'm going to be able to see it on the screen when I click on things off to the side of the left-hand corner of Foxy. Now, after we are done and happy with our creation... For example, here's our Foxy in all his glory. Which, by the way, don't click on the inverted background. It only works with Internet Explorer. I'm using Chrome for this example. And if you click on this, it's going to destroy your image if you try to invert it. It's going to look absolutely terrible. 
Now after you're done, you can go to download cursor or publish it under an open license. When you publish the image under an open license, it's going to make it so it's linked to your profile. For example, mine on this website is Ichi Badass. That you can then you know share share it with your friends. You can share it with your family. You can email the link to other people so they can download your mouse cursors. It doesn't cost them anything. Most certainly doesn't cost you anything. But to finish this example here, we're just going to simply download our Foxy, and then we're going to have our Foxy ready to use right now that we have created. Now, from this point, since I use Windows 7 for this example, even with Windows XP, it should be the same. I don't know about Windows 8. You're going to go to the Start menu on the right-hand side. As soon as you open the Start menu under Computer, it'll say Control Panel. Click on Control Panel, and this new window is then going to open up. On the left hand side, the third option down, hardware and sound, is the one that you're going to be clicking on underneath it, view devices and printers. Click on view devices and printers, and then on the top row of devices, you're going to want to look for your mouse. Mine is USB optical mouse, and you're going to right click on that option, click on mouse settings, and then on the left hand side, the second option, pointers, is where you're going to be customizing the mouse pointer in which you just made. And you can customize every single you know, mouse option, how it looks, but I'm only really going to be changing the normal select for this video. So from normal select, you're going to click on browse, and it's instantly going to default to your mouse cursors on Windows. But we're going to want to go to where we saved our mouse cursor, which for me, in recent places, will show downloads, or you could save it, for example, to your desktop. I have a cursor folder that has all of my current mouse cursors that I've created that you guys may have seen me use on the stream, twitch.tv slash ichibadass. And we're going to change it to that new Foxy. So it's in recent places, downloads. Where are you? There he is. Foxy cursor number one. It defaults the name to cursor. You can change it before you use it. And just simply click on it, open it, hit apply, hit OK. And your mouse cursor is now a Five Nights at Freddy's mouse cursor that you made with any fan art, any image that you possibly want to use, and you're ready to go to use it. It also works on streaming games. It's incredibly fun. And like I said, you can make it out of any image. It doesn't have to be a Five Nights at Freddy's image. Now, some additional things, options that you have, you can add a shadow to the image, or you can just then create another cursor. You can either click, click on Create New Cursor, where you can make the mouse cursor by scratch. And choose a color. Let's see. Let's go with um, so I'm like going crazy here. Let's go with blue. Wow, not very good. Did I ever say that I'm terrible at drawing? I'm not terrible at drawing, but look. So you can make a mouse cursor out of anything. You can do whatever you want. The fun thing about this is if you like pixel art on Minecraft, it's almost like the same thing. You're making like 8 bit, 6, 8 bit, 16 bits mouse icons. And you can click on the smaller drawing area, or you can use a larger drawing area, you know, to enhance the size and the detail of your mouse cursor that you want to create. And down here, you have the little preview. It says, hi. Hi, everyone. But anyways, this will conclude this little how to make your Five Nights at Freddy's mouse cursors from cursor.cc. You don't have to download anything. It's completely free. You can upload any piece of fan art that you possibly want on this website to turn it into a mouse cursor as I demonstrated with the little foxy mouse cursor. I apologize for the video being quite long. I hope that this video helped you create some awesome Five Nights at Freddy's mouse cursors for free. You can create mouse cursors using this website with just about any image. Just keep in mind that some of the images that you use you might have to tweak with the transparency tool to make it to the best of your liking before you download them. And I hope that you, if this video helped you that you leave it a thumbs up, that you like it. Consider becoming a subscriber, guys. And I hope you guys have a great day. Anyways, bye. And until next time, Magic Bananas, guys. Bye.